about to attempt the impossible. I just took this little cutter blade off of here. You probably can't see on the camera, but there's like a little raised section underneath the cutter. You might see it's that little thing there in the top. hard for me to actually see what's well, I think it's just a raised up triangle section my cutters kind of bump into each other if they're torqued down all the way tight uh, they really crash right into each other and these won't hardly cut no wires so I'm gonna try to fix that hopefully maybe I'm not actually going to go through with this. I thought maybe I could fix this, but I don't think I really want to go through the trouble. But it needs something longer. It needs a longer cutter head. My tripod broke too, by the way. It's making things extra tricky. So, you know, kind of like where that scratch rust line is, I need to have a lot more, um, they need to be taller or whatever, more exposed of the cutter blade. These cutters, the screw head almost hits the wire that you're cutting. when it's barely even touched the cutter head. So, it's kind of like that screw head there. <clears throat> Needed to be up in here more. And then also, uh, for the longer cutter pieces, you would have to thin out this part so that each cutter can slide into that area. That would have to be thinned out. I'm kind of upset that they would even send this tool out like this, really. I'm still loving the GOAT tool. Still liking to use it otherwise. I don't do a whole lot of wire cutting, but uh, sometimes I do need to wire things together just to keep them going now and then. So this is almost what it needs. One there, one on the other side. Not this long, but about where that scratch is, something like that. And this thing would cut a lot of different wire. So come on, goat tool. I don't know if we have to wait till full production to get replacement parts, and hopefully you guys will redesign this cutter head. I mean this whole plier head and it's replaceable just four screws get a new plier head in here all right when i just barely torque these down with its little tool so that's not giving me a whole lot of torque and i'm not using a whole lot of torque but when it's all the way tight 
my cutters run into each other also. And then the pliers don't want to spring open. So I'm going to try to sand down the back of these cutter heads, cutter pieces. And if I can get them to not bind up, I might also grind the edge of the screw head once it's down tight. That can't be helping to cut wire. You're hitting your screw head before you're even through your wire. Right there in the center. YouTube people alright when I tighten these cutter heads down all the way they've been binding up and then the pliers won't release and my tripod is broke cheap little tiny tripod broke so my camera could fall down alright so I sanded the back surface of these cutter heads took all the black off and sanded them for a while i just rubbed them on a flat piece of sandpaper flat surface with sandpaper for quite a while and i tried to thin out the cutting edge on each one so now they aren't black anymore these are, the screws are tightened down like they should be. And my pliers are not sticking closed. All right, so let's try to cut wire again. See if it makes any difference. I did not grind that screw head down yet. If this makes any kind of improvement, then uh, make sure the screw head is screwed down snugly, tightly, and I might grind that screw head off. That's, there's no way that thing can help cut wire when it sticks out like that. All right, a little tiny wire I cut before, barely did it. All right, that's... All right, that's a lot better than what it did before. Let's go to the next whatever size this is. I'll go for right where the screw head is. All right, well, it cut it. It didn't go flying off or anything. Now let's go up here. Okay, so far everything has improved. These were almost useless. You could pinch a wire and then finish breaking it off. So I think I will sand the backs of these cutter heads some more. And I'll sand, grind down the actual edge and that screw head there. Tell them screw head sticking out like that. And I think these cutters might cut stuff now. Uh, let's go with this. I cut a coat hanger one time and then I haven't been able to cut through that anymore. Let's try back here at what should be the strongest. Yeah, that's more like what it did with kind of with everything. Let's 
Still not great. I think we're running into the plier head. The cutter head, the cutter head is so short that we're running, I'm running into this flat part of the plier here before you get through the wire. It's like trying to cut with this almost. Hmm. Here's a thick coat hanger. I'm gonna go get my, uh, here's my old faithful. 10 years using, carrying every day. These are kind of, they're not replaceable and they're beat up a little bit. Let's see what these do with anything. They weren't ever the greatest either. Yep, I'm better than these though. Cut right through that. They don't overlap a whole lot, but more than the goat. It's kind of just smashing. Good job, Diesel. All right, here's a coat hanger and keep not being able to cut through. Not sure if these will. Oh yeah, Gerber Diesel. Old junkies, keep going. All right, the goat improved a little bit with sanding the uh, back surface edge of the cutter heads and the cutting edge. I don't know that the overlap is much. Yeah, I guess these are a bit more overlap. All right. I'll work on these cutters a little bit more, but not tonight. See if I can get the pliers to come out. I'm gonna pull this out. If I do it right, it might work. Almost. Okay, so these have a little more overlap, but what they really have more than the goat, I think, not much. I was thinking there's there's a little more overlap between the cutters, but there's also room for the wire to be there to let the cutters push their way through the wire. The goat is just uh, hits a brick wall, flat brick wall, and the wire hits that, and you can't finish smashing your way through the wire. So if they would make this, I don't know, that almost needs cut out. 
I'm not sure either this needs to have a little square shaped on it there or this needs cut out or a little of both. Hey, uh, who's making all that racket? <coughs> My cutters are still crashing into each other often and uh, it stops like right there and then it'll do a click. So I'm going to, I don't have any tiny thin washers, but I do have whatever this stuff is. Hard to tell, I think the black is skinnier. So I'm gonna try to shim these cutters, I think with this. This, if I can do it on camera without cutting my finger. This will be the first time I've used, actually used the craft blade to do some sort of crafty thing. I'm not doing this on camera. I'll show you here in a second. I made a real thin little plastic washer shim dealio. I only put it on one side because it seems like that's pretty good thickness. They're not crash well they're not crashing into each other anymore. Seems like no matter how I kind of put different sideways torque on them. They're not, the cutter head, they're not crashing into each other at the moment. So, let's do this all again. Uh, I sanded the back surface edge some more. I sanded that cutting edge right there so it's not such a thick blunt edge. Here goes a little tiny coated something or other. Same thing I've been trying to cut. Damn it. Okay, that makes me think get rid of the sham just go back to the cutters bumping into each other sometimes. Let's try this one. I might 
get a fancy tripod one of these days. Now that mine's broke. Maybe like a, a real tripod. All right, let me try this coat hanger just for fun. Cause it's so fun to not be able to cut stuff. Oh, all right, I'm gonna take the shim out. Let's see what that does. Took the shim out. Back to bumping into each other. This is the best it's done with this, I think. Do this kind of soft wire. Well, I felt it like bite through. And then it hits the big flat brick wall there. Oh man, this is being a lot better. Coat hanger. Try it right there. Well, we did it. It's a Christmas miracle. Let's see if it was a fluke. The very first time I cut this coat hanger, nice clip went right through i haven't been able to since oh no oops i just tried it here and then goes off camera let's try again come on go okay well it did go through but then you hit the flat brick wall there. Hey, it cut it. Okay, the only other thing, I did not grind this screw head yet. It just needs, I've tightened them down all the way. I am bumping into each other again, but I think I'll deal with that versus not being able to cut anything. So maybe there's plenty of material around this Allen hole that can be ground to match the edge of the cutter now that it's all the way tight. So I might do that and then I'm calling it done as far as I'm willing to do on these cutters. Thanks for watching. When I loosened, I ground the screw, the edge of the screw there both of them and I loosened the screw retightened them both still function work just fine went back to same spot so I'm done with this that's as good as I'm getting these cutters they are greatly improved I think and I think that's it for this video Thank you for watching. All right, hopefully it'll do it again, but it just chopped through this coat hanger. The piece went flying somewhere. Damn it. All right, well, it cut it. The other one went flying just a second ago. I should have videoed it. A lot better, workable-ish. 